We're looking at regrasp actions, actions that change the pose of the object in the hand. Regrasps have been recognized as important for a long time. Here we see a video of the Handy system developed at MIT in the 1980s placing and picking an object, which is a common regrasp strategy for robots. Dexterous manipulation is another approach, demonstrated here by the Salisbury Dexterous Hand, which uses nine actuators. Here at the Manipulation Lab at Carnegie Mellon University, we are exploring regrasp actions for simple grippers, like the MLAB hand shown here, which uses only one actuator. So far, we have developed 12 regrasps, which we have grouped into three categories. To bring such dexterity to robot hands, we must look around the hand and look at the entire hand-robot environment system. Gravity, inertia, arm motions, and external contacts from the environment can all be exploited to manipulate the object in the hand. All of the regrasps were hand-coded and are shown in real time. Some of these actions don't look like regrasps, nor could they be described as in-hand manipulation, but all of these are ways to change the pose of the object relative to the hand. Some of these actions are also useful when grasping or placing an object. As you can see, none of these regrasps depend heavily on the intrinsic capabilities of the hand to manipulate objects, but rather make use of external resources. We call this dexterity extrinsic dexterity. The twelfth regrasp is called squeeze, and we consider this to be an intrinsic regrasp because it does not use any external resources. During the development of these regrasps, we encountered failures, some of which are shown here. However, our fully developed regrasps are much more robust and allow us to chain together several regrasps in sequence. A few of our dynamic regrasps, which transfer the object from an enveloping grasp to a fingertip grasp and back again, were shown to run in sequence 50 times in a row during our experiments. In the future, we hope to model these regrasps and use those models to plan new sequences of regrasps. This will give robots the capability of arbitrarily changing the pose of the object in their hand.